and now it's time for cut the crap the and that may be my cut can father a child but it take a man to be a daddy you you know, right. come on Thank now you. come on now you want to be a daddy not just a father all, all right. righty now it's time for what cut- are my children <laughs> <laughs> you dad what they call you daddy okay all and right. now it's time for cut the crap and Aaron, you want to go ahead i mean abigail you want to go ahead and tell them what that's all about yes so cut the crap if you guys are tuning in every week you already know what's up but we might have some new viewers today i know we have brooke here for the first time on the radio show mm-hmm. um and so cut the crap we're all about positivity here right mm-hmm. we're all about uplifting each other mm-hmm. and you know, bringing positivity to the world. But with that comes a little bit of negativity. We got to be petty. We got to take the time to get out all of that anger. If something pissed you off this week, if you got a pet peeve, now is the time to get it all out. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to start with Brooke. Oh, uh huh. I'm, I'm just let's, throwing let's it around. Uh, I'm gonna throw it right out. I'm gonna throw it right. Brooke can handle this. What is your cut to craft for the day? Oh man, where do I even start? Come but, on. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all know uh, I live in New Braunfels now, so when I come to Houston, it's a totally different driving situation. Uh, and, really? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> um, and you know, I, I I lived in Houston for a long time, but um, you know, coming back, I'm like having to get back in that you know, race car mm-hmm. driver mindset. <laughs> so, you know, uh, those drivers out there that are cutting me off when we're trying to get in the exit, I'm trying to exit and I'm like panicking. Oh my gosh, please stop. Oh, Cut the crap on yeah. that. Be Let some love in your heart. <laughs> let me go in because I'm about to have a freak out. And yeah, I oh. was, I, yeah, yesterday was a rough one for me, but I Cut survived. The Cut, Cut the crap. crap. Please. Let her get <laughs> over. Oh, okay. Thank you. I like that. I like that too. Come on. Yeah. I don't think it's going to change. Man. I know. I know. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, <laughs> Tiffany, what's your cut the crap for today? Mine is going to always probably be the same thing. It's making excuses. I'm you probably get you. cut the crap on that. Making excuses. Push through. Make it happen. Make it happen. All right. Yeah. You're sick and tired of people making excuses. If you can do it, they can do it. Yeah. As it's all, some of it is I'm t- sick and tired of me. I be making excuses. Preaching to yourself. You talking to yourself. Okay, then. All right. Well, push through, Tiff. <laughs> I love you. Uh, okay, uh, Steph. Yeah. Come on. You ready for yours? I have a list, but okay. today I'm picking one in particular. Cut the crap on wanting people to read through the lines. Mm. Mm. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Mm. Stop being passive in your communication or passive aggressive. Be assertive. State how you feel, what you need, and keep it pushing. We're not going to be reading through the lines in this season of our lives. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cut the crap. You know what? Yeah. We twinning today. Uh, are we, we, yeah. we twinning yeah. today. I, we, you, you and I are twinning today because I cannot stand. I'm just jumping in with my cut the crap. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to back that up. I cannot. If you have a problem with someone, oh. be an adult. Mm-hmm. Talk to that individual. Don't go behind their back. Mm-hmm. Don't do that side thing. Just Go at it straight up. You're an adult. That passive aggressive. Mm-hmm. Cut it. Mm-hmm. Cut it. And it's okay if you don't like someone. Absolutely. God you never- need to cut it. Cut it. Mm-hmm. Cut it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, it's okay if you don't like a person. But you know what? Do be the adult. Yeah. And just go have a conversation. Or just stay out of their space. Mm-hmm. Agree. Okay. Agree. Cut the, cut the crap. Cut the crap. Jonathan. Right. I can he he hit Don't he have it? Well, mine is not that deep, okay. but um, I was at the bank yesterday. Oh, that ain't deep? At the ATM. Oh. And this is something that I just thought about, but if you know you don't have money in the bank, <laughs> <laughs> don't put your card in oh. two or three times and thinking something's going to change. Because I got a place to be, I got people to see, and I got things to do. I was almost late to what I had to do yesterday. Because Wait, this lady, no. I saw her take it out, blow it, and put it back in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like sorry, like, that was me. Like, so she, please cut what, the crap. what you say? Like she was at the crap table, right? right? Like, it, it is what it is. <laughs> Cut the crap. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna jump on that cut the crap because I was uh, at church's chicken one day. And, <laughs> oh Lord. And this guy said, I know I had eight dollars on my card. <laughs> no, no, cut the crap. Your card not gonna work. 
with eight dollars on it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I yeah, like that. He talking about eight dollars yeah. on it. He was trying to get four dollars worth of chicken or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We are petty. That's a good. Yeah. Cut the crap. He didn't have the nerve to say that out loud. <laughs> trying, to oh, his, wow. trying to get his two piece in the pepper. <laughs> okay. right, Lord, wow. The biscuit. That's <laughs> tough. And, a pop. and <laughs> Abigail wants some of this. Yes, I have a cut the crap. I understand FOMO, right? We all get FOMO. That's fear of missing out. Like you oh, don't want to be left oh, out. Thank you for explaining that to me. I saw your face. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I understand FOMO, right? But if someone's not inviting you somewhere, why are you trying to force yourself? You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you trying to force a connection or force a friendship? Mm. If you're not, if I'm not wanted somewhere, the FOMO goes out the out the door for yeah. me. Yeah. No mo FOMO. No, no mo, mo FOMO. FOMO. <laughs> because you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be around people who want me around. Come on now. Uh -huh. So if you don't want me around, bye. Gift of goodbye. <laughs> See you later. It really works. I'm telling mm -hmm. y'all. Gift of goodbye. Don't try to force being in a space that you're not wanted. Uh -oh. Okay, come on in there. So look at Aaron. Look at Aaron. Aaron, Aaron, said, Aaron, Aaron said, I can I do more than pray and read scriptures. I can cut the crap also. <laughs> <laughs> now I recognize this may might not be something people can control. It might be a genetic thing, might be like the internet just <laughs> missing nice our perception. But like just people like they look young, but they're actually old, like way older. Like it work, like if you're like in your 40s, 50s, like you look like a clear adult, right? I found out one of my friends recently. I was kind of getting to know him a little bit more. And I'm thinking like he's in like mid-20s, maybe he's like 26, 27. No, I found out he turns 32 in August. And I'm like, whoa. That's mm -hmm. old. I was just say, no, no, baby, are you calling us geriatric? No, I'm not saying. What's the cut the crap with that? It's just more so the idea where it's like, okay, you're talking, presenting yourself. You just, you look like, you're, like I'm not saying like, oh, it's bad to be old. I'm just thinking it's like, okay, like you're probably close to my age. No, you're like almost a decade older. It just threw me off for a loop. <laughs> so you saying, look your age? Okay, Aaron, just, just Aaron, Aaron, like Aaron cut the years. crap. Okay. <laughs> I don't get that one, but yeah. that's okay. It yeah. just is more so. It, I think it threw me off more. You think, but again, like I still, I still hold it a little bit. That's like a, that's I, actually a gift that people look younger than what they are. It just throws me off because I also have another, friend, I have another friend at church. Uh, he's married to one of my friends. Okay, everything. Aaron, we're not gonna hear your story. <laughs> he Cut the crap, Aaron. Okay. No, <laughs> okay. no, no, Aaron. the love of the <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the pettiness around here. Yeah. Aaron, Aaron said, look your age. <laughs> she said, y'all need to look your okay. age. So have we have anyone to answer the riddle of the day yet? We don't have anyone answering the riddle. We'll probably come back from the break, give them a little more chance, or give them a little more time to answer the riddle. Aaron, could you go ahead and put the riddle back up on the screen during the break so that uh, they know what they're answering? Um, but we do have a cut the crap from Martin Bur Burian on Facebook. He said... If you don't know how to cook, please learn. <laughs> Cheese doesn't solve everything. Cut the crap. That doesn't it. Well, I try to think that cheese does save everything, yeah, but if you know how to cook, I, tea, so. I would say, don't get in the kitchen. You know, I don't think that as an attack. As someone who eats Lunchables and frozen meals every day, no, no, no. I took, definitely took that as an attack. That was an attack on me. Yes. I'm sure. What's his name again? Martin Burian. Martin, you were not attacking Abigail. <laughs> She's taking it personally. I'm offended, though. <laughs> I thought it was my husband. I was like, he's coming for me. <laughs> so you can't cook? Um, I mean, I can when I want to, okay. but Jeff is the chef. Okay. Chef okay. Jeff. Chef Jeff. Hi. <laughs> well, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back.